two day this is the simulation work at this point we are at the property environment property environment where we define our component and our full package okay our component and our full package in the component we source our component data from ISPEN property data bank from ISPEN property data bank that is where we source our um, component and then our fluid package was defined using a BK10 okay then after that we define our reactions we define our reactions okay our reaction involves the pretreatment reaction. Okay, the pretreatment reaction. And then this pretreatment reaction is the one in which the um, the rice husk is reacting with uh, sodium hydroxide in order to form to generate or liberate the cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, right, and then the ash. All right. Then after that, we also define the alkaline neutralization because at this point, after the treatment, as the process go, some of the unused alkaline has to be neutralized using a acid so which is a uh, hydrochloric acid so that is one of the reactions defined and then also the hydrolysis reaction the hydrolysis reaction where the cellulose and hemicellulose is converted to fermentable sugar such as glucose and xylose in this case we define it as a cellulose conversion and then hemicellulose conversion so that is the reaction for the hydrolysis and then after that we define the seed tank reaction also the seed tank reaction in which the fermentable sugar is converted to ethanol and then carbon dioxide okay. the C tank reactor as the case may be is actually where the yeast is grown yeast is grown this is the reaction for the growth of yeast and then this is the reaction for the growth of uh, for the conversion of ethanol so these two reactions are what is taking place inside the seed reactor so it was defined and then finally the fermentation reactor where the ethanol is actually produced in large quantity all right so after defining the reactions and then the fluid package and the component list we then move to the simulation environment and then in the simulation environment we define this water stream as you can see this is the composition when you highlight it we define the water stream i will be mixing with the rice husk before entering the pretreatment reactor to liberate cellulose and the hemicellulose and the lignin and other solid materials so after that it is moved to the hydraulic press, the hydraulic press which is the um, which is a splitter is simulated using a splitter the unit splitter so to remove the solid component from the you know the fermentable sugar component sorry the hemicellulose and the cellulose stream 
So after that, it is being sent to the neutralization tank. In this tank, the acid is fed also in line with the squeeze stream. So both react to remove some of the sodium hydroxide present the unused sodium hydroxide. So that is the aim of this one, this unit of pressure. Then Nestle is another splitter unit where we we reduce some of the liquid content of the process. In this splitter we reduce some of the liquid content of the process. And after that the process is sent to what a cooler where it is the stream is cooled. And after cooling, we send to the enzymatic, the hydrolysis tank. So in this hydrolysis, so after the hydro, after the hydrolysis process in the tank we pass it through a heat exchanger to cool it down because the process generates heat to cool it down so that the temperature will be suitable for the fermentation process and then after the cooling it is passed through a tea a splitter that is to split the stream into two into two one goes to the seed reactor this is the seed reactor and then the seed reactor is where we grow our yeast before feeding it into the main fermentation tank so this is the fermentation tank and after the fermentation process, we pass it to the distillation column. So, this is the first distillation column, and this is the second distillation column. See that in the first distillation column, we have the CO2 vent, and then the aqueous ethanol. Then the bottom product. Same thing applies for this one too. Where we now have our pure ethanol. So I would like us to check out the stream. This is this pure ethanol to see the composition. See that the composition of the ethanol is uh, almost 100 percent, which is. 0 0.9769 which is about 97% pure and 7% pure I think it's kind of uh, reasonable 97% pure so that is the purity of the ethanol produced in the process and then if we also check the condition See that the mass flow rate is around 18 kg per hour, which is almost similar to what uh, was obtained in the other work that was reported. So, that is the work done so far. That is it.